so I'm still trying to find a, a way to um, get rid of the original uh, receiver, which comes with the electric version of the Volvo excavator from WE Hobby. And I want to move from the base uh, receiver and uh, radio control to uh, OpenTX. And I'm going to use an X8R receiver with my uh, old trusty uh, Taranis X7 radio. The first thing you got to do is uh, remove the counterweight, uh, which has uh, two screws on the bottom and two screws on the top. Uh, and then you have to remove screws uh, from the main plate. So there is one over here. Uh, there is one on the other side. And there was two, supposed to be two. I only had one over there. So when you remove the main chassis, uh, you gain access to uh, all the electric uh, and electronic components so I've created uh, a model, a base model uh, on the Taranis radio. And of course, I've uh, binded the receiver with the radio as well. So I've unplugged all the servo cables and uh, I just made sure that I know how to uh, put it back on. So let's say I'm going to use uh, the first uh, servo channel. So I, I, uh, I'm very careful with the polarity. So it's the black on the bottom so I start uh, the excavator and as you can see uh, the receiver is uh, is connected to the radio and uh, let's say if I want to move uh, the channel one is going to be the bucket as you will see so channel one moves the bucket So now I'm going to unplug the channel one that I was using previously, and I'm going to use uh, channel two. So channel two on channel two of the receiver, and I'm going to start the excavator. It's connected to the radio. And uh, as you can see now, when I'm moving the stick, it moves the, the boom. All right. So to me, that means that um, every uh, servo cable has some juice uh and can power the um, the receiver so what i'm going to do i'm going to unplug all red wire uh except for one channel but i'm going to try to do a, a continuity test just to make sure there is no uh well if there is some current uh traveling on on the the server channels so channel one and channel two there is no uh continuity no beep, but when I try with uh, channel three and channel four, there is some beep, uh, and actually it's going to be the only uh, servo channels where there is some beep. So now I'm going to test uh, with the channel one, no red wire, channel two is red wire, uh, so the, the receiver is working, it's connected, and now I can move both channels, which means the channel with the red wire plugged and the one with the red wire unplugged, they both work, which is very good news. So long story short, I've connected all uh, servo channels. Uh, and when I was doing some tests, in fact, um, the receiver was underpowered uh, if I only used one servo channel with the red wire on. So what I did, uh, actually, I went with two servo channels connected with the red wire, which is approximately 6.6 uh, .6 volts, as I measured earlier. And the X8R receiver from uh, Air Force Sky uh, can take up to, uh, I think it's a 3S, so probably around 11 volts. So um, everything went fine. I did some testing for like uh, about 30 minutes, uh, uninterrupted, and so far so good. So for uh, testing purpose, I've created a very basic uh, model uh, on OpenTX. And with this radio, I've decided to go with two different flight modes. One's going to be uh, primarily used for translation, which is moving the excavator uh, with the tracks. And the second mode was going to be like for regular digging operation, like a regular operation mode. So here you go with the translation mode. 
as you can see, I can uh, move the excavator with just uh, one stick, which is the left stick. So I can move uh, forward, backward, uh, left and right with only one stick, which is very convenient. But I've also uh, decided to keep um, the possibility to move the swing and the, the boom. And for the regular operation mode, I'm using the standard ISO uh, control for an excavator, which is like swing and tilt on the left stick and the boom and the bucket on the on the right stick. And if I still need to move, I can use uh, both uh, pots, but it's not very convenient. That's one of the reasons I decided to uh, go with a translation special mode. So I'm going to tweak uh, OpenTX and the, and the settings for the excavator in the next uh, following days and I will probably do a, a special dedicated video about that but so far so good it's way way better to use um, my X7 radio is a, a lot smoother a lot more precise on the control so I'm very happy to have uh, moved from the base uh, receiver and radio control